वेलकम फ्रेंड्स कॉन्टिन्यू विद अवर सीरीज ऑन वीडियो टूटोरियल यूजिंग यू एफ टी टूडे वी आर वर्किंग ऑन टॉपिक कॉल हॉट यूर को रिजल्ट टू यूजर इन यू एफ टी सो लेट स्टार्ट विद ऑल द टॉपिक्स विच वी विल बी कवरिंग इन दिस सो अवर फर्स्ट टॉपिक हेयर विल बी सो वॉट्स अ वेज ऑफ रिपोर्टिंग रिजल्ट वॉट आर द वेज वी कैन रिपोर्ट द रिजल्ट वन ऑफ द मोस्ट प्रोमिनेंट वे ऑफ रिपोर्टिंग द रिजल्ट इज टू यूजर इज यूजिंग मैसेज बॉक्स अनदर वे इज यूजिंग प्रिंट स्टेटमेंट्स another way is reporter utility so our main focus using the and this video will be reporter utility so let's discuss basically message box is a feature of bb scripting coming to print and reporter utility these are the feature of uft so let's first discuss what's the basic difference between a message box and and print statement so as already discussed that message box is bb scripting feature and print is basically a utility statement so what is an utility statement we will discuss in the coming slides so basically when message box works it gives an pop up to user so user action is required on that but in case of print we have a print log statement generated so in qtp 11 it was like external print logs were getting generated but going for the new ft 11.5 what they have done is like they have given a output pn in that print logs are getting generated in build to uft itself so execution stops like when message box comes up and the user has to take action on that while the execution goes on uninterrupted in case of print so basic syntax of message box is like message box is the keyword and what are the string you want to display and in the print the same is like print keyword and the message you want to display in case of a message box we have a four optional parameters also we will discuss in the demo part so that was the difference between message box and the print thing so our main focus will be reporter utility object so why this is the main focus because in the practical scenario a lot of time we will we will be using this reporter utility object so so basically what is an utility object firstly we will discuss what is an utility object exactly is so this is basically an reserved object reserved object and the uft so basically this is a global like it's uh, available everywhere we don't have to de uh, declare the object of that and it's a uh, like a reserved keyword in uft so it's a feature of uft itself and it's not stored in object repository or it's not learned by uft it's like by, by default it is there so and why we use a utility object basically we use this to modify or uh, retrieve or control the behavior of uft during run session so like uh, coming to the reporter utility object so when we will be using this we will be basically retrieving the results from uft and when it's interacting with aut and we will display that in our result viewer so more example of utility object is recovery description we in our previous video we were working on description object or itself so another is data table and while print wait and exit test these are example of utility statements so uh, similar to utility object utility statements are there these are reserved statements to uft so that was regarding what utility object is now coming back to reporter object so why we use basically reporter object as already discussed we use a reporter object to convey results to user using what result viewer so what are the methods and the properties available in reporter object so one of the most prominent method is report event so this is used lot of time in practical scenario so and the property we have a property called filter we have a property report path and run status and one more method report node so we have two methods and three properties in our reporter utility object so our main focus will be on report event method so let's discuss what is a basic uh, is a report event method of reporter utility object is basically it is used to report an event what is happening when our uft is interacting with our aut uh, so what event is happening so what is the status of that event that is getting report, reported using our report event so what's the syntax of that so how to report that we will report using reporter report is our object dot report event method so it will take four parameters event status what is an event status it will tell what is the basically status of our of our run results so status can be what it can be pass fail or done or warning these are the four status available so in case we want to display pass we will use zero integer or we can use mic pass mic is basically mercury interactive class pass so in case we want fail one will be passed to that two for done three for warning so it is this is the event status now what is a basically report step name basically this is the 
name that need to be displayed in our result bureau so it's like a heading so what in what are the details regarding that heading we will pass that in details thing so uh, one more thing this is image file path image file path is an optional parameter in case like i am reporting uh, a result to result bureau i want uh, any uh, image also to be attached to that result i'll use this image file path so just a simple example in case i want that path status to be displayed to my result bureau uh, uh, what i'll use i'll use zero in case of i can use mic pass also and i am using uftheat.com as a main heading of that and i am giving the details regarding that so learning automation made easy uh, is the details regarding that so that was uh, all about to report even method so let's have a live demo so we can understand what we discussed so far so continuing with the same application i am using what i am using our calculator application here so let me cancel, click cancel on that so what i am doing i am pressing 5 on that i am displaying message box i am displaying print so let's see how the message box and the print are getting displayed so let me run my application uh, my uft in debug mode so this is my aut this is my uft so basically i am clicking on that so this is uh, what this is my event which is happening by user on aut using uft so in case i want to display any message after that so what i'll use i'll use message box so this is what the display of message box will look like that you have clicked that that was a string that was passed to our message box so now what now we have to take any action on that so i have to click ok or i have to close that so that the execution continues so what happened now next is print statement print statement what happens see so print statement result is given in what it is getting generated in my output output pan of our print log and it is displayed over there so again i am repeating a more step on aut again i am displaying message box see here when message, message box was displayed it has given me an title of that also and it has given me two buttons also so basically these are the parameters which we have changed here we have passed four here as in digit four means like yes and no buttons will be displayed and example the so third parameter is the title parameter so these are the optional parameter we can uh, pass to message box so again print statement is getting generated and the print logs are displayed here so continuing with that again i'm clicking five on that aut now i want i want some report event method to be triggered so that results can be sent to my result viewer so far what we were using our message box and print and but the results were not sent to our result viewer so in case we want to uh, send some results to that what we will use our report event method so what are the parameters i have passed i am passing mic done and i am uh, saying some uh, that i have clicked on five that is uh, my step name and the details are sent and i am also giving the path of my image that need to be displayed while this step is getting executed so that's uh, i have taken a path from my local drive so i am attaching that also so let me execute that step so now our uh, report, report event is uh, got triggered and it has given result to result viewer so now coming to next method next method of what reporter is report node it is basically used to send nodes to result viewer in case uh, what when our uft is running we want to send any status uh, nodes so we will use this report node event so i am sending any um, uh, node to that so these were the methods now let me stop that uh, script here and let me show you how the result viewer has given me the analysis of our report event method and report node method see what we did so this is our result so let me go over there okay so this was what so this is what it has given me mic done result into that so what was that we we had given the name of that the main step name was five is getting clicked and what are the details user has clicked five on calculator and this was the image which we have attached to that so that's how our reporter event method works so coming back to what coming to what where report nodes are sent so let me show you that so see uh, it will be shown in our nodes section so any nodes which we have sent at runtime it will be shown here that we are sending any nodes to that 
so that's all that was the method of our reporter utility object we have worked with our event method and one was report node method so let me show you uh, let me close this uh, result and let me continue uh, running my code from in between so we can work with our properties of utility object also so this is what uh, i am displaying any result to do to that uh, this is a filter property filter property basically what it does it enable or disable the result that is get, getting displayed in our result viewer by default result settings are enabled so this result will be sent to our result viewer but in case i am passing that filter property should be result should be disabled so when this reporter event method will be executed this won't be sent to my result viewer again i am enabling this feature so this uh, result will again be sent so the idea is like this filter property is basically used to it's like a filter on my report event method so that was regarding filter property now one more property of that is report path basically report path what it gives how we use that reporter dot report path it gives me what it returns me the path where my result are getting stored so i am uh, getting back the result here and i am displaying that using my message box see this uh, it has given me report path uh, path where my result is getting this way so it was in c drive somewhere so it has given me that so now coming to my last property of my reporter object it is called run status so basically this property is used to modify the behavior of uft at run time based on my previous result status so my previous result status is like i am passing report or report event that you this step is going to fail it so now i am checking the status of my previous report event method so my in case my that result is fail it will go to this if part otherwise it will go to else part so th this is how we control our uft behavior at run time based on the run result behavior of my last previous steps using our run status property so what it will give i am passing my uh, report event that it should fail so here it will go to this part and uh, execute this message box so let me run the code see so it has given me that result had failed so this was what i have given message box uh, heading of that message box and result failed as a string to that i am passing three parameter here also so that's why it has given me three buttons here so that was all regarding our properties part path so let me show you also so how, when we were working with our filter property so see it has given me only the things when it was enabled so by default it was enabled so it has given me that message after that i disabled that it hasn't given me that it has given the result event uh, after the one when i have enabled that so that was uh, setting run results that is to make fail so that was the last one so that was how our reporter utility object works so let's summarize the things again what we did today so we did our message box so our message box works it basically display the result using pop up thing and we can control its title we can have how many buttons we want which string we want to display in that and then we worked with our print or print utility statement works where the results are getting displayed using print and, and we can copy the results afterward also so it is basically getting stored in my output pan then the most important thing was reporter utility object so we worked with this utility object and its methods uh, report event method then report note method so two methods were we used and we saw the examples also and similarly with the properties also we worked with our properties uh, of uh, reporter utility object so that's all uh, from our team so in case you want to learn more just please visit our website www.uftihelp.com and for any updates what all the posts we are uh, putting on our website please like our facebook page so that uh, users are updated with latest uh, postings on our website thanks a lot for watching this video goodbye